Oh, yeah. Today we'll be doing a product review of the Teco Honker. I have posted a picture of this frog on my Instagram as well as on my YouTube community tab and many of you guys have asked me to use this product, use this awesome sexy legged frog and catch some bass and snakeheads with it. So with that said, within this video, you'll see me catch some fish. So uh, with that said, why don't we start off with one clip and then we'll go right into this product. Yeah! Yeah! Oh man! Yo! 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 Guys! Dude, what, what a beast! What a beast! Ah! <laughs> look at that! Dude, look at that hook set! Oh, I thought I had both hooks on him! <laughs> Oh, 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 jeez. Sweet. To be quite honest, I actually didn't want this frog at first, but thank God I have chose to bought this frog. In fact, I was at Tackle Direct with my wife and we're doing some shopping around the area and I saw a whole aisle of Tackle frogs. I was like, hey wife, which one of these frogs do you want me to buy and use to catch fish? At that time, I want her to pick the Tackle Sprinkler frog because Guys, if you guys remember one time when that frog came out first, man, it was sold out everywhere and it was sold on eBay for $60 for each. But anyway, guys, she picked this. I kind of hinted her that I wanted the other one, but she was like, hey, didn't you say I'm the one who's gonna pick your lure? But thank God she actually did because this is such an awesome lure. Let me share some of the specs of this frog with you. This frog is two and three quarter inches long and it weighs half an ounce. I feel that half an ounce is perfect and when you cast this frog, you'll find that it casts relatively accurate. In addition, I feel that it floats really well. I feel that it doesn't take in that much water compared to other frogs. I've cast it many, 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 many times and the only time it took, out, uh, took in a lot of water is after it gets shredded apart from snakeheads, which I take it back home and put a little super glue on a few spots and it's good to go. All right, guys, on the tackle, hunker. Hey, look at this. this thing thick. I need to back up. My line is all over my camera. Now it's time to talk about the action, which I find it insane. No wonder to say Tackle Frogs creates massive, massive blow ups. So if you guys are not very technical with frogs, I got to say that this is an easy frog to use. You would just cast it and retrieve it. And it acts like a buzz frog. Take a look at these sexy legs. These legs are basically a wire. You kind of see here, let me pull one of these out just a little bit. You see that right there, okay? And these wires basically hold two swivels and those two metallic legs. When steadily retrieved on top water, these legs would kick and sometimes they would smack each other. Now listen to this. You hear those little metallic legs smacking each other? If you guys retrieve with your rod tip uh, low, the frog would basically go horizontal and you could technically hear it above the water. Now, if you lift your rod tip high, basically what happened is the frog gonna run pretty high, the, the tip of the frog is gonna run pretty high, which makes the back run lower. And I feel that you guys could play around with your retrieve, whether it's high or low. Again, if you guys retrieve it, um, well, this is uh, up on the surface, you will hear the smacks but if you actually have legs underwater and smack, although you may not hear it, but I promise you the fish could definitely hear it. Fish got lateral lines that fuse vibration. And I think uh, I like to, uh, more oftenly, I like to retrieve it with the tip higher. Now, if you guys are technical and you guys want to work the lure a little bit more, you guys could definitely walk the frog with this lure. It walks with no problems. It stays in strike zone a lot longer if you walk the frog. My last way I like to fish this, especially around heavy cover is I like to do quick drags and what happens when you drag this lure, it creates a lot of displacements in the front body of the frog as well as the back because you have these flippy floppy legs. And then I like to pause it and just wait. While doing this on slops, when I pull it right into the open water, like if there's an open patch, I like to pause and just wait, let that fish hone in into the vibration and hopefully you get that massive explosive bite. With all these style of retrieve on one single frog, no wonder this thing could generate such a commotion and make those explosive, explosive bites. So if you guys want to experience some massive explosive bites, make sure you guys give the Teco Honker Frog a try. I can guarantee you guys will catch some nice big fish. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this product review. And if so, make sure you guys thank my wife for picking out this lure. Until next time guys, tight lines. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa, thrasher. Thrasher. Whoa. Whoa. Ay yo. Sugoi. <laughs> it might be a swamp dragon here. Holy smokes. I can't even get him up. I'm a rod tip. Oh man. Let me just see if I can fiddle them over here a little bit huge 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 all right uh, need them to clear out the muck so I can actually get them I clear out the muck so I can get them this is when I actually need a net oh my god Holy smokes. All right, Jimbo, you definitely need a net and a weight and a scale. Look at this, guys. Holy smokes. This is insane. This is insane. This is insane. Okay, I'm so freaking stoked. Guys, check out this. He swallowed, he choked it. I can't even get it. His mouth is so strong. But you see it, right? Oh my gosh. Guys, oh my gosh. Dude, look, look, at, look at this big head. Like, geez, let me flip it this way so you guys can see. I, I can't, I don't think I can even grab it well. Like, look at that. Look at that. I'm backing up as best I can. I'm so far back. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but man, it's huge. Oh, oh hey, hey, dude, one slap in the face. <laughs>